Good afternoon, everybody. It's Miss Betty on Fawn Rich. And today, I cook every day. But today, what we are going to make is some St. Louis ribs. This is a subscriber request, but what they really want to know is how I make my barbecue sauce. Because I don't just take my barbecue sauce and pour it out the bottle. I actually mix my barbecue sauce and I cook it on the stove. But first, we are going to cook a slab of St. Louis ribs that I have already cleaned and pulled from the back all the hard uh, skin that's on the back. What you do is you slit it, you get your paper towel and you grab it and you just pull it all the way down. You do not want to leave that on your meat because you want your meat to be tender and not chewy. If you ever go to somebody's house and they have ribs and they're a little pulley, they did not pull the skin off of the back. What I've done is I've taken all of my favorite seasonings, which many may be a secret, and I've mixed them all together in this bowl. I want you to take your favorite seasonings because your food should taste the way that you like for it to taste. So I have all my favorite seasonings in the bowl and I am literally just going to bathe my meat with it really well on both sides and you just want to get all that seasoning into your meat. The back side will need a little bit more because it's got to cook through the skin so well see now you just go slap 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 kind of like you putting I always say changing a baby's diaper. So let's season this meat really well on all sides. And I'm going to let it marinate for a minute because it is actually for our Sunday dinner because you know now it's time to go back to church and you need to kind of get your meals done ahead of time. So that way you don't have to go out to eat after church or you don't have to come home from church and regret, regret cooking or you don't have to say, I'm not going to church because I have to make dinner. No, you should be able to do it all. Let's do it all. So there's my ribs, nice and seasoned. We'll let them sit there for a while. I have just a little bit left, so let's pour it on there. I'll let it sit, and then I'm going to put it in my casserole dish. Meanwhile, I'm going to mix up my uh, barbecue sauce, and I'm gonna show you just exactly how I do it, but I do have my casserole dish that I am going to put my ribs in. They are just a little bit too long, so I'll pull and I'll cut one piece off so that we'll be all ready to go. All right, let's get this barbecue sauce started. It's easy to make indoor ribs. It's not quite time here in the Midwest to go outside, even though it's a beautiful day today, but I'm not ready to go outside, so I will cook indoors. I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. <laughs> I have my ribs ready. They're in the casserole dish. And they are oven ready. I have no onions on them or nothing, just my seasoning. I am going to put a little of the Worcestershire sauce on it. And I'm just going to sprinkle some on there. This will actually keep it moist and give it a little extra flavor. Now these are St. Louis ribs, so they get tender fast. They're not the big bones, you know, like ribs. So they're the St. Louis, they're the small bones. I'm gonna throw these in the oven and I bet you in about an hour and 20 minutes, they'll be done. But before I stick them in the oven, I do like to place a tent over them. So make sure that you cover them with your foil lightly. Put them in your preheated oven of 350 as I'm going to do now. I hear a lot of people when they're cooking on their food channel set their timers. I have a built-in timer and I know exactly when my food is ready. So, but if you need to set a timer, then you go ahead and set a timer. But periodically I will get up and I'll check my food. But normally I can tell from the smell how they are progressing because they start to smell really good and tasty. So now I'm going to make my barbecue sauce. Let's see if I can get my camera down here. 
And I'm gonna make my barbecue sauce using some open pit barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna pour it in. Everything that I do, I'm just gonna dump in. I don't throw away my bottle because if I have extra barbecue sauce, I certainly would like to place it back in. I have some leftover chili sauce, so I'm gonna add some chili sauce. You know, making your barbecue sauce or whatever you make is just like adding a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And I'm gonna finish off this bottles. And that's usually what I do. If I have leftovers, I just go ahead and add it, okay? I'm also gonna add some more barbecue sauce. I wish I was on that grill today. And today is Saturday, March the 5th. And I hope that you are having a great day because it's wonderful out and I want you to be encouraged. I would like for you to replace negative with positive, be a blessing to someone and you be blessed also. So let's put some more barbecue sauce in. I'm basically just trying to add enough sauce for my ribs, okay? I have diced up an onion, a quarter of an onion. So we just put that in. Once this is all done, I'll stick it in a pot and I'll watch it as it began to cook and simmer real slow. I'm also gonna put in some mustard. I got a lot of unopened stuff today. I guess I've been doing a lot of cooking. And so now I'm on my replacements. That's what happens when you cook a lot. I love to cook. Cooking on Farm Ridge. Make sure you tell somebody. Make sure you share and like my page. Okay, now mustard. We're just gonna squeeze in a little mustard. We're gonna stir as we go. Just stir it in. I have here um, a third of a cup of brown sugar that we're gonna put in. I don't want it to be too sweet. If I wanted it to be sweet, then I would have just bought Baby Ray. Is that sweet Baby Ray ribs barbecue sauce? I don't like that. So we're just gonna add just a little bit. But I'm gonna add some honey. I'm telling you, I don't have nothing ready to go today. I apologize for that. I got it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pour some in. Just watch me. All right. I had some on my finger and I stepped off the camera because that's a no-no while you're cooking. All right. Got my sauce. I'm going to put a piece of lemon in here. I already have my lemon sliced. Let's grab a piece. I normally try to keep everything pre-prepared so that I can keep it going as I go. So let's take a lemon and we're just gonna cut a piece of a couple of pieces there. Pour it in. And that's it. My barbecue sauce is ready. It's going to be good and tasty. Make your barbecue sauce to taste like you like it. But I did use open pit. I'm an old-fashioned girl, and I will always use open pit. I did add a little chili sauce, some honey, some yellow mustard. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more of the Worcestershire sauce in here because that would give it a little twang. <laughs> a little twang, as they say. Make sure you mix it well. And then I'm going to put it in my pot. And while my um, ribs are cooking, we'll let my sauce cook. That's it. That's easy. Put that on the stove. And I will be back when the ribs are done so that you can see how tasty they will be and how easy it was to make my sauce. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment, comment sections. I'll be happy to walk you through it, all right? I am back and my ribs are ready to baste. Look at that. I've drained them off the juice. They're still extremely warm, so what we're going to do is 
I am going, my sauce is ready. I'm not going to take these apart today because they are actually for tomorrow. So, but here's my sauce that I made. It's wonderful. Just stir it a little bit. And then let's baste these babies. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to baste them very well. Baste the bones, too, because you know you're going to be sucking on that bone. <laughs> These are my rib tips on the side. Okay. Now, let's flip them over and do the other side. But this is the side that I want to put back on the top. So, okay. We'll flip them over. Hope I can get a good grasp because they're still warm and I don't want them to pull apart. There we go. And now we want to baste them all down on the sides. Really good. Now remember I said don't throw away your barbecue sauce bottle because as you can tell, we're going to have extra sauce. Got to have somewhere to put it. So we'll put it in our bottle. One thing about St. Louis ribs is you see on this side, you basically just see all bones. That's because the meat is on the other side. Okay. Now I am going to place them back in the dish. And it's still warm. Okay. Put it back in here like that. Put my other pieces. And voila! Our ribs are done. But let's go ahead and baste them again because we want them to, to have plenty of sauce. The rest of the sauce will be in the bottle and we can pour it on as we want it tomorrow. Let's put that lemon on there. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me see if I can bring it a little closer for you. My dish was kind of warm. This is my Muppet gloves. I love them. Hi. My niece Kim gave me these, and they are so nice. And every time I put them on, I talk with them. Okay. Here's my ribs. Tomorrow, I'll slice them and take them off the bone. But there we go. Can you see them? Those are my St. Louis ribs. All right, I'll take a better picture. And that's it. I've made St. Louis ribs and barbecue sauce. Get you some. Bye-bye.